Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Elite Dangerous. Today we're gonna try to make some money with cargo missions and this time I want to make serious money. So I searched for some methods on the internet and I found one actually presented by Down to Earth Astronomy. So that's another channel that does a lot of Elite Dangerous content that is really meta beautiful insights. I totally recommend to actually check him out. I'm also gonna leave his channel in the description. Anyways, let's dive into it. We're gonna check out trading. Let's have a look at my cargo ship, which is the Type 7 transporter. We upgraded most of the modules here. Uh, I've shown that in a previous episode and also in optional internals we have a lot of cargo space of course and we also have a fuel scoop because we are going to need to travel a couple of hundred light years. The destination we want to go to is the Maya system. I've visited the system previously for a material that I required, but there we go. This is the system here. Within the system we want to visit this planet here and the destination is Daniel's Progress. No, actually Daniel's Progress, but I'm just gonna refer to it as the Maya system from now on. That's our destination. Ah, I just noticed we have a cargo capacity of 288. That is darn awesome. Let's do an auto launch. Get this going. <laughs> there it is. Finally, the beautiful nebula. I love it. Let's do the last hop. Be done with this journey. Hopefully it's gonna pay out. The method with 75% throttle also works wonderfully for planets. If you don't want to do the loop of shame all the time, then stop at around 2 to 1 light seconds and then your ship should come to a halt just when the planet is in frame and then you, you can do your own acceleration again. Like right now that was a little too early, but rather too early than too late. However, the method works and now I can do my own approach without looping around the planet the entire time. Uh, of course, we are on the dark side of the planet. Why wouldn't we? Coming in! Oh, I just wish I could crash into a station at some point. But I understand why they don't allow this. Don't understand why I can crash at light speed into a planet though. That's just lame. Alrighty, now that we're finally here, let's have a look at the missions. Hopefully we get something really nice. What we are looking for is a delivery mission for Meta Alloys. That is the good stuff. Okay, looks like they don't have anything for Meta Alloys, unfortunately. So in this case, none is available. We could check in the other play modes, but I'm too lazy to do that. So instead, we're gonna search for other lucrative delivery missions until a Meta Alloy mission is available again. Said and done, I took a couple of delivery missions, not very well paying, but they all lead to Atlas. So once we've done that, we're gonna come back and check if the mission's renewed and we get one of these major meta alloy missions. Okay, I admit I didn't notice it was 12,000 light seconds away. We'll pay better attention the next time. Ah, of course. Uh, in 15 seconds, I'm going to start boiling bulkheads of you. Screw you! <laughs> what a bastard. <laughs> well, thankfully, we, we got away there. Maybe I should add some heatsink launchers to prevent scanning. Uh-oh, we're being scanned again. Oh, okay, okay, just just go. Throttle up, throttle up. Go in, go in there. I forgot this could be so stressful. Got 600k for the first one and the second one I don't think gives me that much. 160. Maybe we go for reputation and influence. Yeah, that might be the better choice. I'm going to check if we find some missions that lead us back to the Maya system. But other than that, I'm gonna be right back. Alrighty, I am back after quite a break. I actually attempted to find one of these missions. Maybe they don't actually exist anymore. Could be that they were nerfed. What I did now is I just gradually accepted quests for exactly three locations, all the same locations. And I have at least three or four missions to each of the destinations. So this should also give us hopefully plenty of money. First destination is Selene Orbital, right over here. It's actually 12,000 light seconds away as well, but I just noticed that isn't that far. Well, as far as 100,000 and more, that's when it really takes long. 
I accepted all data missions and the cargo missions. Now, I'm not 100% sure how it is with the factions and if they are at war at the moment, but I also figured out that sometimes you get less trade opportunities when certain factions are at war. Oh, 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 okay, okay, that, that did not work. Okay, jeez, don't completely trust the super cruise assist feature. Jeez, now even internal damage, that was a huge mistake. I now officially despise the super cruise assist. So let's use uh, super cruise assist uh, to get there. Ah, there we go, finally. Let's dock the ship and see how much money we can make here. Scan detected. Oh gosh, darn it, another scan. Let's just throttle up. As soon as we get through here, we should be safe. Okay, okay, we're good. I'm not even sure if we're carrying illegal goods at the moment. Alrighty, let's hope for a big payout here as our first location. Uh, that's just, yeah, that's a couple of missions here. 58k, okay, not a good start. Here we have a bunch of courier quests, so another 40k, another 50k, and then our first delivery quest here. That would be another 92k. Okay, I went through the list here, took a couple more quests that actually lead to the same places we are already going next. So let's have a look at that. We want to go right here next into the Zeliano system. I'll catch you guys right over there. I just see we actually also get time bonuses of course that we should check out but also I did make some reputation progress, some substantial progress today. Maybe that's worth mentioning too. This actually looks like a situation I wouldn't want to use Super Cruise for but let's hope for the best. Yay, it worked. What? What is happening? Auto dock? What? <laughs> what? What are you doing? Stop! 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 <laughs> what? That was wild. Oh, I really wish you could walk around the station here. This one looks awesome. Anyways, more missions to hand in. Cheap ones, more expensive ones. I'll be right back. Okay, good. Where are we at at the moment? 31.7 million. I spent a couple of million in order to gain more reputation with the donation quests, but still, it's definitely not as much as I would have liked. Let's do the final destination and then assess the situation, but I fear this was probably my worst attempt at gaining money. Here we go, another very beautiful station. I just love exploring the most in this game. I love looking at stuff here, flying through space. Not everything is perfect in that regard. I wish I could do a little bit more with the planets, especially Earth-like planets. Come on, let us visit Earth-like planets. But I would also like the capability of flying into a gas giant, at least the first few layers maybe. I just wish for a little bit more in terms of exploration. I want to go deep. But let's see our final payout here at the last station. Well, I now have two children here in my room. So that's that. Well, I got three missions to hand in here and another two right there. But I fear it's not going to be a doozy. No, it's going to be disappointing. Alright, after all that, and well, let's be honest, it didn't take too long, but we uh, <laughs> didn't make much money. So yeah, that, that's the point where I feel really stupid for doing all that crap. I just don't get the mission system. Like the time investment is not a constant thing here. What I should rather do is just take one big contract, like one that is close to a million, and then do that single one instead of a lot of small ones. And I don't mean a boom time delivery because for that I have to run like 15 times or so to get that done. What I mean is a mission like this. Boom time delivery of 90 units of silver, 1.5 million. I mean, that is a pretty good offer, I have to say. Definitely gonna take that contract aboard. There's another one for 700k. That's also better than everything else we've done currently. Yeah, actually, I think that makes much more sense so far. Let's go ahead and do that. Open galaxy map and plot around, please. Holy cow, the galaxy map is not overviewish the way I have it set up. But it all got messy after reformatting my PC. Regulate your speed. <laughs> Are you crazy? We're just gonna go. Oh, oops. Reads rest 4,000 light seconds away. Mm, I'm gonna grab some coffee. There we go. Got my coffee, we're almost there. Mmm. Lecker. Whoa. That is a well-lit station. 
There we go. 36 silver. Yeah, that's probably the better route. I mean, 700k is what we made before with like 10 missions. So back to the Saliano system we go, it looks. But yeah, I guess that's the way to go. It just takes a lot of missions. I mean, we can do approximately 1 million credits per mission. And it's mostly just a one jump mission. So generally we can do it between 5 to 10 minutes. So let's say if we're lucky, we can make approximately 10 million per hour while watching TV. Because that's probably what I would be doing if I wasn't recording. This is a really cool system with the volcano planet. Also seems to be a very dense asteroid ring. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, I think we should be able to escape that. Uh, almost, almost, come on. There we go. Easy peasy. You're not getting my materials today. All right, boom time delivery, 90 pieces of... What was that even? I don't even care what I'm transporting. Well, let's see what we get for that. 1.5 million, I take that. We could also get great for scan data. Let's go for the money first. I want another ship. That is my next goal. I need way more money than I have right now. Here we have one going to Atlas Silene Orbital. We've been there before, so I think I'm gonna take that. That would be another 800k. Maybe we should also sell our cartographics. I scanned every system with the discovery scanner, so at least something we should get from that. Ooh, I think we just leveled up there. Let's actually see. Yeah, promotion to pioneer. All right. So we have a new explorer rank. Though I still want to get up my trading rank, most of all. Well, let's continue our quest. We're going to go to the next destination or a previous one. I mean, we're kind of cycling between a couple of systems. But still, eventually it should get us there. I want at least 10 more million or so for today's episode. And then I guess the next time I'm going to choose uh, more methods that I was successful with. But still, I enjoy the trading. It's kind of relaxing. <laughs> Here we are. Ready for another sale. Ah, screw your scan. Good to have you with us, Commander. Good to be here, buddy. Deliver 90 items and another 800k. Sweet! Let's check out our money. We're now at 35.4 million, so definitely faster to go for random good missions than specific ones and try to wait for them, in my opinion. Alrighty, we are back after a couple more quests and it is also the next day. We'll be wrapping up this video by taking on some more missions and then check our balance. At the moment, as you can see, we have almost 41 million. Not bad. I've actually started to enjoy this, even though it is not the quickest method. Let's filter for transport here, that is way more convenient, and then I'm gonna check the list. So I stopped doing the career missions, except I take on a mission that leads me to the same station anyways. So what I'm mostly looking for are one-way cargo missions that pay me at least 700k. Well, Martha's Terminal, I have to admit, not really good. I didn't get a good mission and this is actually a really bad example. I was actually doing well with good missions. There was a good mission, at least one of them at each station. Alas, I'm now doing a couple of career missions in order to get to another station. But I still need a couple more million before I can calmly wrap up this video. Looks like Reed's Rest is gonna be our target about 4,000 light seconds away. No problemo. Jeez, this is really frustrating. Thus far, no really good missions here either. This was much easier yesterday. We could do that strategic data transfer. This might actually give us up to 500k with the bonus. Yeah, I guess this is our best option at the moment. So let's do this mission to wrap things up and if I get a really good one then I'm gonna do that too. Just to see what I end up with in terms of money. We started with around 30 million. <gasps> I hate my life. Huh. Actually, my life is pretty awesome. We just reached 200 times the speed of light. Gotta love it. Still not slowing down at 300 times the speed of light. Hmm. But it's pretty boring. Wow. That is a really cool planet setup right there. I regret nothing! Ah, this is freaking amazing. Now I really have to set up the camera. Yeah, holy cow, this is absolutely amazing. Handing in the last mission for today. And we end up with 41.4 million. It's about 5 million less than I anticipated for today's episode, but I felt actually more relaxed than usual. 
Don't know, I think the next time I need to do something more exciting. We'll see, but what I have to do is grind some money off camera. So in the next episode latest we can actually go for a good passenger ship. That's what I want to go for next. With this we should be able to get the next millions in order to get even a better ship for another purpose. But more about that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, have a great time and see you soon. Bye bye.